This is super easy. I'm gonna show you how you can do this with just the use of your phone or your PCs or whatever you're using. All right, how you can create dance videos like this to make any character of your choice. So let's get started. So to get started, we are going to have to download the Chrome browser. So you have to have your Chrome browser downloaded on your mobile phone or your mobile device. And of course, you need to have your Discord application. And of course, you have to be registered on this code all right so these are the two major applications you need however um if you notice any glitches or any delay in connections and all i would advise that you download a free vpn such as a planet vpn just turn it on currently i'm using the vpn and it is currently turned on so you don't have any problems or glitches with the internet connections so what you're going to do right away is you have to come to your chrome browser and right here in your chrome browser you'd come to your search and you type Lexica dot art okay once you type this you will search for it and you'll be directed to the ai website and here is it this is the ai website right here is the ai website so you can literally use any of these images that you see here all right you can use any of them but then if you want to literally search for images you can come here to search for image and just type anything that you want any random you know stuff you want and you can literally generate an image from here easily all right without any glitches so here is it you can see here are they you can see and of course if you're looking for a picture or an image for this kind of thing you have to ensure that there's um you know an alignment with the image of the person that you're using with the ai so something like maybe um if you're using a lady you can use uh, maybe a lady that is slim here instead of using a fat lady there and then using a fat lady here so um, and using a slim lady here actually so just make sure that it's just a little bit of alignment but however you can use anything you want all right it's gonna work perfectly so just try it out so once um you've selected an image but then if you don't need any of this image then you can come here to generate a free image by yourself if you're not okay with all of this and actually you can go ahead to log in first so that you cannot you won't have any issues with the website so you can literally generate this for free so once this open up you can go ahead to place your prompt right here and just go ahead to you know select a dimension that you want all right of your photo okay you can select any dimension of your choice and then you can click on generate so it's going to generate a picture or an image of that particular dimension and as you can see right here this is an image or these are images that you can see here then you can go ahead to download the image just hold the page hold it and then download it so i want a full image so i'll just go with anyone that has a full image just like this one all right so i've selected the ones i want so you can go ahead to make more choices of um you know ais that you want and so you have to ensure that you have also logged in or signed up into this code on your mobile device and ensure that it's running and working perfectly if you need to do any you know verifications and authentications you go ahead to do them all right so once that is ready then you can go into the next stage so the next thing you need to do is you come here and you're going to type figo dot ai Alright, so once you type vigo.ai, you're going to be directed to the AI website that we're going to be using right now. And once it opens up, you'll see this option that says join the beta. This option right here that says join the beta. So you're going to click on that. And here you're going to see an accept invite option so you're going to click accept invite and once you click on accept invite you're going to see this right here all right so you're going to see that you've accepted the invite so a few questions are going to pop up this is not too much so you just select anyone maybe probably where you headed from or where you found out and then your interest whatever you just select anything and then you click next and of course you can click your country or your you know 
your continent so all right so then you click on agree and finish so you have joined vigo all right so you just go back a little bit all right so you're gonna join any of these um creator groups or channel you can come here and click on any of them and you just automatically join a channel okay and so once you are here already you're going to notice that there are so many people who are creating so so many you know prompts and so many things so you're going to look out for anyone that looks like you know a motion prompt for instance this is a motion prompt right here although you're not doing this but then you can actually come here to click on explore more anywhere you see motion prompt you click on explore more so you come here and click on explore more then you can see that there is a whole lot of um you know prompts of you know animes dancing and all of those things here so just literally select any one of your choice okay so i'll just go ahead to select this one for instance and you can see here it has opened up all you just need to do once it opens up you will come here and click on this so you once you click on it you see copy all right copy it successfully you say okay all right so once you're done the next thing you need to do is you need to go back to your discord so here in discord i'm going to come to the message box here and i'll put a forward slash and then i will select or click on animate and i will have to choose an image so i'll select one of the images i generated using the lexical ai and after that i'll select motion prompt and in motion prompt i'll place the prompt that i copied from the vigo website then i'll click on background here in background i'm going to select from templates just right as you can see then i'll click on fine tune and i'll turn it on just as you can see right here after that i will send this into the vigo um, workspace and it's going to start automatically generating your ai video so as you can see right here it's currently generating this for you so you just have to wait for your moment so i would advise that you just keep watching your own sports okay just keep watching your sport all right so I'll just be watching it to make sure that you know i don't miss it and once it's ready you're gonna see something like this so you can go ahead to click on it and see the results So you're gonna hold it like this and you go ahead to save then you're gonna scroll down and you can see that it's currently downloading onto your device all right so now we're gonna try another option here and you come here to where you have mix and you're gonna put your slash once again and here you click on mix all right so sorry let's do that again you come here and put your slash option and you type or select the mix okay so once it opens up you're going to select the image that you want all right to you know animate so you're going to come here and select any image so i will still try to use this one but then you can use any one that you want okay i'll use this one so i would send it and then you'll come here to a video and you're gonna select a video option so i will select the video i downloaded or the video i want to sync this with so i will come here and sync this with this and once you've added the video then you come here and select the background click on the background So you're going to come here and select the green background so because we will need to be able to use the background that we want so you need to come here and select a green background so once you select a green background then you come here and turn on the fine tune option so you click ok and then you send so while we are waiting for it to generate you are going to just wait a little bit so once it's ready you can see that it's currently um, very very looking really nice so um we're going to go ahead to download it right now to our device
so you come here just like before you will hold it and then you click on save so you check down here and you see that it's currently being downloaded onto your device so just wait for a moment and automatically it's going to be downloaded and so the next thing you're going to do is you come to your chrome browser and you can just search for remove um, people from videos and all of those things so you can see so many options that you can literally try out all right so um but then you can come to this media.io this one and you're gonna click on that so just come here to click on remove people from video and you'll be directed to a website called the annie razor website and here you can get to remove um you know select the video you want to remove so you go ahead to select the reference video that you want to remove the background so i will just come here and remove this background so you can inc actually increase you know this very well you get so just make sure it covers the area so well so that you are able to remove everything that's within that area And once go the process is finished, the process. you have to go ahead to download the video. Then the final stage is that we have to open up our CapCut application. And here in CapCut, you're going to open up a new, you know, a new project where you're going to have to start working on the video. So this doesn't take a whole lot of time. All you just need to do is come here, click the new project, and you're going to select the part of the background that you just removed right now. That is the this one right there so once you click on that you click on add so you're gonna add that to your workspace on CapCut and then the next thing you're going to do is you also come here to where you have overlay just right there you click on overlay and you add an overlay of the video that you generated using the Vigo um, prompt right and all of that so you can see this first you have to scale it into the video very well make sure that it's well aligned because it has the same ratio with the background you're using so now we're going to remove the green screen so you come here to where you have remove background then you click on that and you come here to chroma keys you select there and you would have to pick a color you pick the green color and of course you would let me do that again the chroma key pick the green color increase the intensity and then you can also come here to increase the shadow a little bit and that will be looking perfectly well so um, then once you're done you click good and that, that should sink in very well and also if you want you can go ahead to add some filters to make it even look better and you can try to add um, a blow background to it because sometimes if you're looking at this you can see that there is a whole lot of um, maybe little little glitches right there so you come here to where you have effects and you're gonna add video click on video and you go to where you have lens all right and in lens you are going to click on blow so you're gonna click on blow so you can adjust the blow down a little bit all right just something like this see that so you take this down to the end of the video so then you can go ahead to export your video and that is just how it works